but you know the great thing about the web is it's not like you need to rent store space. You can start free, right? And start small. So that's so that's the first step. Build a website. And this step, this, sorry, is Lawrence. I just got it. It's in your handout. So if you need those those domain uh, those URLs, they're all just here. So the next thing is, once you build your website, then um, then you want to make sure that people can find you, right? And so that's uh, and there's that's that's kind of the bulk of this presentation. So I'll just talk about in terms of Google search, and I'll talk about advertising online, and then Kamna will talk about how you could use social media like Facebook, Twitter, uh, some of the other like outlets to actually generate traffic. So how many of you? How many of you know where Google Ads are? How many of you know like what a Google Ad is? Mm -hmm. Not very people. Okay. So suppose I type in plumber, right? So I type in plumber, and I. Uh, so what I see is, I see these are ads. You see oh. spots and links. And spots and links over there. So these are actually ads. And what Google does is, if we think the ads are really good, then we'll actually put them over here. Otherwise. They're here if they are if they are there at all, right? So um, and Google makes money every time you click on this. So we call these kind of sponsored results, right? Sponsored because that has a pay for it. And then from here down is organic results, right? And so there's two very separate things that you need to keep track of. One is you want to ensure, and that's a whole kind of science and so on. Um, so it just automatically kind of happens, right? And there's some sites you can visit, which we can talk about at a later time, in terms of just making sure that the search engine kind of finds your site, but it should automatically happen, and you would appear here in the organic results. Okay. The sponsor results, I'm going to talk about in terms of, I'm going to give you a quick demo in terms of how you can actually just go online in about like 10 minutes in terms of having an ad running that's uh, advertising your site. So, I... I logged into my AdWords account. I, I, it would take me like five minutes to register, just type in your email address, register, put in a credit card number, so I skipped that step, but it's literally like a five minute step. And then it takes you to this page. And I think there's, you know, if, if you're the first time you're in there, there's, it walks you through a little bit. But just to show you how quickly you can be on Google, per se, I'll uh, create, I'll just do this pretty quickly, and I'm going to skip. I'm not going to like, tell you every single step. So suppose we want to advertise our favorite organization, IWL, and we want to advertise it. So, so what I'm doing is, anytime someone types in a search for, let's say, uh, keywords that I define, so I do, like in this case, plumber. If I want ads to show up when someone types in plumber, I can then specify who do I show those ads to. Do I show that? Per, do I show those ads to someone sitting in San Francisco, someone sitting in Sydney, someone sitting in Melbourne, and so on. So. I'm going to say, anyone who's in Australia, I want them to see this ad. Okay. And uh, then I set, I said, uh, I basically, I say, okay, Google, uh, I, want, I don't want to pay more than $5 a day. So I say, just $5 a day, I want you to give me the maximum number of clicks to my website. And what Google charges you for, we don't charge you for showing the ad. We actually just charge you every time someone clicks on the site. So if your ad appears like a thousand times, but then no one clicks on it, then you don't get charged. But one thing we do do is we want to make sure that uh, if you do show your ad, that uh, it's, rel it's relevant to the user. So if your ad never gets clicked on, then from our perspective, we're not making money. And then secondly, it's because the users don't like it. So then we'll show you how we show your ad. So we want to make sure that you have good ads in terms of quality. So, I've set a $5 budget. Um, I'm going to call this, so I've set up my campaign is for IWL. And I'm going to say this is to get the young leaders of the future. Right? And so there's different types of ads I can create. The standard one that you just saw is a text ad. So I'll say uh, Indian uh, successful. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> Clean and close ads. to the subway. Successful Indian women. Clean and close to something. Uh, <laughs> other successful women join IWL. And um, I, I can just show it our Google, as you guys all know, so I forget the, uh, the name of your organization.
organization. The website is. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just do a little search. It's, You're gonna go home tonight, right? It's done. Is it done already? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'll just type in display this women leaders .org. Okay. So that's my text ad, right? So that's what the ad's gonna look like, and then it suggests a bunch of keywords for me. So a keyword is what the user types in. So when I just went to Google, I typed in plumbers. I typed in Indian women, Indus women leaders. That's what the keyword is. So let's just say if someone types in a... Professional in, women. Yeah, like professional women. Women. And maybe I'll add uh, women leaders, Indus women, right? So South what it did was it looked at the website and said, oh, based on the website, here's a bunch of suggestions for you. But why does it say um, start with 10 to 20 keywords? Wouldn't it make more sense to just do like all of them? No, you want to start uh, kind of like small because A, you don't want to spur your clicks, right? If you have your ad showing up in something like, you know, just uh, like, you know, women, the calendar, like, you know, <laughs> you wouldn't necessarily want that, right? Just going with the Imputum theme. Um, <laughs> so uh, it's better to be like more targeted, yeah. right? And then add, so the whole thing, the key, you know, one of the key messages, start small, Google started small, and then you know, become big, right? So start with a few keywords, and then uh, you just save it. That's it, right? So now if I go to Google, that's all I did. Now if I go to Google, and I search for any of these keywords, I have to wait 10, 15 minutes, so we'll try it like in 10 minutes, because what it does is it's just upload the databases and so on. So that's, uh, now I'm running a Google ad. And to tell you the truth, I just actually, I, an hour ago, I just tried it on the comma. Okay. So I just did a, I just wanted to see if it worked. And so this, I, this is an ad that I created an hour ago. And so now any, anyone in Australia, if they type in comma Dubin, they get this ad, Successful Indian Woman. And it happens to know that, because I'm logged in, that this is my ad. So it says, so, so this text that you see here is only to me, right? That's pretty amazing. I, mean, I think that's just incredible, right? Like, you know, Google's so powerful. Like, if I saw a billboard outside, so okay, I want to be on that billboard. Hey, like, you won't even like, know where to be here. And then secondly, it might take you six to nine months and thousands of dollars later, I disappeared, you know, Ghana disappeared, and for free, right there, right? So that's, that's how you get online. And, um, and why would you want to get online, right? beyond like you know, helping Google be successful and helping a common shopping budget, right? right? Um, if you look at the cost of actually uh, just acquiring a new customer, right? So if you place an ad in a, what are you seeing? <laughs> so if you uh, send a flyer to someone, as we call it, it's a direct mail, and the cost of that is you have to print it, you have to post it, and typically the cost of acquisition is like 70 bucks you know, for someone to become a customer. And as you go down, you and email is expensive, and yellow pages is expensive. Search is very, very cheap. And that's actually been the primary success of Google. Everyone knows Google, a great search engine. No one knows like why Google's made so much money. There's been a lot of other sites that had plenty of traffic, but what Google's been able to do is, what I just showed you with AdWords, right? Get people to actually spend money and do it in a way that makes sense for them, as you can see over here. So now, so now you created your website, you have people coming to your website, right? Um, so now what, right? So we, like Amna and I, created a few websites, some of you probably know, like she's actually done like five websites, but to actually get more traffic, to actually engage your customers, that's, you know, that's a challenge. And um, the great thing about being online is that absurd amounts of data. So we saw that earlier slide where we said you know, from dawn of humanity to 2003, you had this much data created, now it'd be two days. So all of this is you know, computer generated, right? So there's just tons and tons of data that's being collected. So this comment could tell you, like even at home, my personal life, I'm always like, let's, you know, opinions are one thing, but like facts are another thing, right? So let's just use the data, right? And so Google offers a tool where it, show, it lets you experiment with your site. So you can imagine if you want people to come to your site and they want, you want them to purchase something.